Hello, and welcome to the Finding New Ways to Start the GTA 5 race. Thank you, Liam. You could not have timed that one better if you had tried. Uh, <laughs> yes, we are back for more GTA 5 shenanigans here today, uh, driving around an interesting little storm drain uh, circuit. Now, we are starting with the Paragon, which is actually a pretty good car for this second vehicle we're going to have today is quite possibly one of the worst cars in the world. Uh, but this first race is just to prove that this circuit is actually quite good fun, hopefully. I'm not sure this has been our best idea for a start line, but we're going to give it a try. We can get some fire going from the Paragon. Let's actually pay enough attention to the start line point. Here we go! We're off and away and we've managed to have a crash almost immediately. Who would have thought it? Uh, well, <laughs> Is up the barrier. Who would have thought our wonky start grid wasn't very good? Somehow I made it three wide through the chicane. So this is a lot of high-speed chicanes, if you like. Now, they are my kind of corners. However, too wide in high-speed chicanes is iffy, and when things go wrong, cars go airborne. Basically, there's going to be a lot of big... Oh, there's vertical hairpins as well, because these are fun. There's 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 chance for some big crashes. There should be some hopefully good race. Paragon's a really nice car, actually. Oh, there's a gap up the inside. I'm sorry, Crow. That was a little bit rude. I do apologise. Uh, you're going to put... Oh, dear. We're all going to back off through there. Uh, where... I don't actually know <laughs> where that car ended up. Oh, and Chris has gone round. There's a car hat going on that's leading to, I think, you and falling over. It's all got a little bit busy at the start of the race. I think I can see Crow's car back there, so we're all good. Uh, and of course, there is catch-up. There is slipstream. If you have a big crash on the first lap, you still have a chance of having fun in the race. We have made it out of all of this in a seventh position. <laughs> Nine tails don't sit on brazen, goddammit. Uh, we will get to second as we go across the line. We'll push Hyper along. Now we've got a little bit of bump drafting going on from behind us. We've got a big train of cars through all of there. Uh, Nine tails going for the aerial overtakes were questionable um, through that. Stevie's about to have a big death. <laughs> there, was, there was nothing I could do about that other than hope my punt on that car would fire it clear of the track, and it did kind of spun around and, and got clear. Towards the vertical hairpin we go. I'm preferring the wider line through all of that one. More to stay out of trouble than anything else. And it does work. We get a mega, mega run off the corner. I've got nowhere to go. Oh, no, that's not the... That's twice now in the same place we've ended up putting a car in trouble. I shall wait for him, Pega, on that one. I thought I could just give it a little nudge forward, but I'm going to actually get out of the chicane part now because that's not going to work. Um, yeah, I thought we could give it a little... Just that, that little list of... of taps forward. Normally the Paragon's not too bad. There we go. We'll get some slipstream to Mpega. We'll get back in the fight. It's not race over for us yet. Um, right. Let's not let's not give any cars a nudge. I thought these were a little better. Where is Stevie going? Nobody knows. Around there. Okay. Back into it back, back into teamwork formation. Now we need to not fight each other too hard over what is... Oh no Mpega! You've moved out in front of the run! <laughs> God damn it. I couldn't get off the once you've got the slipstream, it's really difficult to get off the throttle and, and slow down. Oh, that's a little bit sketchy to get over there, apparently, if things go wrong. It's really difficult to stop the run when you've got all the slipstream pull. Uh, we're somehow still in eight. It's been a bit scrap. These were supposed to be... This is when we drive the Vamoose and it's so much better. We have the best race we ever could. Because that would be a very fail racy thing to do. That would be almost... A, that would be prime fail racy thing to do. I don't, I even, as much as I would like to say that, Blakey's had trouble through this chicane. As much as I would love to say that, I can almost guarantee no, the, the Vamoose is not good. And uh, now we're back to fourth as everybody fell over each other at the chicane. Okay, are we going to just sort, are we gonna sort ourselves out? Are we going to calm down? We were playing around with the stupid animals before we started filming. In fact, we very nearly got distracted from doing any filming by playing around turning our characters into animals. You know, that it, apparently we've now forgotten how to drive. <laughs> that's that's the downside of the whatever they're called plants is it may potentially remove all of your driving skills. Don't go too wide through the chicane. No, two wide's okay. Don't go three wide. Oh god damn it, that was silly. I wouldn't. I would, no, don't push another car. We learned what happened last time. Stevie's just going to shoot through the middle of all of that. Yeah, three wide of that chicane only works with two drivers you really, really trust, and no one making a mistake. Uh, two wide is sketchy there. Three wide is beyond sketchy, but we made it work. Um, now the rest of the pack is going to come and join back in to this big old fight. Stinty's in the sucker hole there with no slipstream. This is going to give a big shove to the cars ahead. Uh, we're going to go maybe not quite too wide. Okay, we're too wide through the first part. Uh, going to have a little lift. We're all, we're, the problem is we're all backed up because no one can overtake. 
Um, and all the cars behind are getting big slipstream runs, and they're having to... The... Oh, that's a bad place to be spun. I think Stevie may have got a tag. I think Stevie got turned into me, who then had no, con no chance of controlling that one. The thing is, you run so closely together here at such high speeds that uh, trouble can strike at just about any moment. Oh, oh we got down there. Uh, this is very much... Well, well, it's called the Storm Drain Oval. I mean, this is very much like a restrictor plate circuit. There's going to be a big one at some point. In fact, there's been quite a few. Oh, no. I thought, I hoped I could jump over that. And the answer to that was not really. <laughs> there was a lot of panicking. A lot of panicking and last minute... I hope. Okay. It's not, this race has not gone. This was supposed to be a demonstration of this track being quite good fun. It is a good fun circuit. It's just been slightly messier than expected. Uh, let's try and get a good run off here. The leader's on their own. They won't be on their own for long. There's a lot. Catch up and slipstream does a lot around this circuit. Oh, there's the gap. We're up to third. Uh, yeah, the, le the leader <laughs> had got a big lead. It's not, not really there anymore. Oh, didn't he give us some space through there? We got a nudge from Nine Tails. Uh, what is the lap number? We're on five out of eight. There's still more chaos to go. There's probably still going to be at least two more big crashes for me involved. Maybe we'll still be near the front by the end of this. That's the hope. That is that is the hope in this one. Don't hit the concrete. Don't run up on the... Oh, Ninetales gets a good run. I can't move across to get slipstream. Ninetales likes the aerial attack. <laughs> it's the intimidation maneuver. That's what it was there. Scared <laughs> scared Chrissy's car to the side and then put Stinty up the wall. Stinty came back down and landed it and has carried on. Okay, that's sketchy again. Once more, two by two through the chicane. It's fine if everyone lifts at the right time. I'm going to go for just a very wide line through there. It's done the trick for me. If anything, because it's so wide in places here, you get cars going three and four wide where they really, really shouldn't be. Really, really shouldn't be, but there we have it. We'll clonk onto that concrete exit. We've got the whole lead group back bunched up again. I don't want to be in the lead here. In fact, maybe if we are in the lead here, everyone will slip stream past us by the chicane. Dig. Oh, where are we going to be? It's this one. Oh. So if you lift too much, you get run over from the cars behind that are carrying a lot of speed. Uh, if you don't lift enough, you'll end up in front of the cars ahead of you, or there's just too many cars fit into one space. It's, it's terrifying. I mean, that's the joy of high-speed chicanes. It really is the joy of high-speed chicanes. Uh, oh, bloody hell. We were around there. Uh, I think Nightel's survived all of that. Uh, we get a very, very good run towards the start-finish line. This was the final lap. We might even win the race. We probably would do. It's interesting to know. Oh, that's a big shot forward. Into the chicane we go once more. And Pega's recovered and is about to go and take the lead away. Yep, and Pega makes it through all of that. I get a massive run now. It's my turn to shoot towards the lead. Ewan's coming with us. I mean, the, the lead has changed hands so many times a lap. I think almost everybody's led this race at some point. Uh, there are a couple of cars that have fallen off the back. Uh, that obviously not had such a great time. We're going to go side by side with you and down here. I need to get that slipstream off in Pega, which we are not quite close enough to do. I mean, Pega's going for the old uh, curb sneaking. Gliska will shoot through. I'll go between Gliska and Ewan. Uh, we will have... Oh, there's a little list, little list of nudges. That was a bit bigger nudge from Ewan. Chris gets back on the road, but only just. Uh, <laughs> right, let's not push. Let's not push too much. We've pushed our luck quite a lot and Pega's actually enjoying a little bit of peace and quiet as we all fell over one another and um, oh wait no, Pega's a lap down. Pega's missed a checkpoint so Pega's irrelevant in this fight. I don't know if Pega realises he's missed a checkpoint. That'd be why that car's buggering off because we've all got catch up slowing us down. Sorry Blakey. I don't even know if that Constantine threw the field and caused someone else to crash. Nobody knows currently what's going on. Something happened behind us. We still lead through the chicanes. Uh, there's been a big crash behind us. <laughs> Well, it happens. It does. It does. It, it happens. It's happened almost every lap on this track. You have a big one almost once per lap at different parts of the field. Come on. Get in that slipstream on the back of Liam's car. Here we go. Although I don't know if I want the lead at this point. Because this is where it's going to get... Oh, it's going to get sketchy towards the chicane. This is the final time through a chicane. Ninetales will lead the way. Uh, we're not actually close enough to really be making the most of the slipstream. Here we go. That's the pull we wanted. It'll take us to the lead. Now, is it a good time to get to the lead? I don't know. Where is that purple car? The purple car's gone clear. You know, we might have a good... Oh, don't go too high up there. Gliska takes a massive dive. Actually, Gliska gets a really, really good run. Have we gone... Have we got our run too soon here? We're on two wheels. Ninetales is in the door. Liam's going to do it. Oh, we end up fifth. Ninetales wanted to take the jump, but it didn't quite work. 
I was trying to avoid the jump, uh, <laughs> got on two wheels. It was a mad, mad, hectic run to the finish line. Good fun, though. Good fun, indeed. Um, in, in Pega, unlucky. I presume Mr. Checkpoint somewhere, uh, quite possibly without realising. Oh. I mean, we made a bit of a meal of it, I'm not going to lie. There was quite a few... Explorations? Should we go with, we'll go with explorations? Um, and that's with a sensible car. So, with the sensible race descending into anarchy on the most part, this should be interesting. You see, while I quite like Davos as a car, driving-wise in this game, racing-wise in this game, is iffy. It has some rather unfortunate handling characteristics that make it nigh on uncontrollable at this sort of circuit. It doesn't like even the lightest contact, it hates curves, it hates bumps, and sometimes the steering isn't really connected to the front wheels. It kind of wanders, and the problem is is that it's wandering around, it's already wandering off the circuit for me. It, it's just, everything is so vague in this car. We've gone a bad way. Can I recover this? <laughs> Somehow, yes, that shouldn't have worked. <laughs> There's no way that should have worked. But apparently we can go that way. Yeah, the steering is... I mean, you can see here, I, you don't really have to do much. It, it just weaves on its own. It's made much worse by the bumps. Oh, God, I'm not going to make... That's not going to work. Oh, it's fine. I, I don't know what causes that. It's, it never happened with any other car. You really don't want to be side by side. Someone's had a massive shunt behind us. Side by side in this car at high speed is just asking for trouble. <laughs> this bumpy just drives off the edge. <laughs> That's, that's literally all, oh, and Night Owls always falls over. No! Liam! Why? Bad Liam. Uh, <laughs> that was the other thing that we were going to get to, because I never, I didn't really take the hairpin properly the first time, because I was off the circuit. Um, yeah, these, these fall over going around the vertical hairpins. I don't know why, but apparently they do. They have such high suspension and soft, wallowy, bouncy suspension that they just fall over. Oh, I don't want to go too wide here. I'm going to have to have a lift because I want to fall into line. Uh, as best I can, Liam's gone to orbit. Bye-bye, <laughs> Liam. That was a good flight. That might be highest car of the day so far. It was fairly impressive. Now, around the hairpin we go. Pega's up onto two wheels. Pega's had a spin. I might have put Pega back the other way around. Didn't really know where that car was going to land or end up. Let's say not really land. Um, there's going to be a very, very fast thing. I'm just going to stay out of the way. You d uh, in this one, I want to be as far away from any other car as I can at all times as you see them drunkenly weave their way down the road. That is just the way this car is. Oh, landed, not landed, almost landed, fallen over again. It's just, what? Uh, am I going to be clear to get going? Go, 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 before another car comes along and collects us. <laughs> Such vague st it is just the most wobbly car in existence. Now, we have got a little bit of catching up to do. Ooh, it's almost like Forza Force is in full effect. Oh, we have Nine Tails in Pega, Crow. We've got a good crew of cars here. And Blakey, of course, for Team Orange, Teamwork, slash Inevitable Friendly Fire. We have a good crew of cars here to try and work our way back forwards. Uh, so we might be able to get towards the front of the field by the end of the race. Or we might weave our way into trouble. I really don't want someone to try to go past in the chicanes. Just stay in line, god damn it. Do not overtake in the chicanes. I feel like that's just good good, good advice. I know that's where most of the overtaking is going to happen, but I still feel like that's good, solid advice. Don't steer too much on the vertical hairpins or you fall over. Don't hit curbs. Don't... Just be bloody careful with this car. I'm going to leave in Pega plenty of space on the... Oh, no. Yeah. It's weird, I don't even know. Something weird happened in all of that. There's some wobbling. <laughs> just cars everywhere. Oh no! Watch the Impega going across the road. Pink car's gone to space now. It's. It is more of a flying. What the, I don't even know what happened to Crow's car. We've come out of that in four, and then we are working our way back. We are working our way back to the front of the field. Stinty's going for two-wheeled moment of the day. Oh, I'm sorry, Hyper. I was going through the middle, and Hyper went to avoid Stinty, and the swaying of the car got the better of them. It is. This is car is just drunk. It's stumbling home from a night out. Uh, that sort of level of drunk, and cannot quite go in a straight line. 
or it's it's more if you let go of the steer, the car just doesn't settle. It's I, if you haven't driven the Vamoose at this in this sort of environment, I don't know why this race is the oh, I'll say the first time I've noticed just quite how bad it is. I don't know whether it's a track surface or so. Either way, this combination it's just so weird to drive. It's so so strange. And Pega's flying back up through the field. Please don't be to the inside through that chicane because I was committed to that line. Um, again, I'm through here quite... Something happened. Yeah, something happened. We're going to get slipstream past. That's fine. That's a safe way to go past. That I quite like. That big group of cars behind me, I'm not so sold on. But uh, overtake me down the straights, I'm actually quite okay with because it means I don't have to fight with a car through this bit. On the final lap, I might be saying a different story. But for now, that is a story I'm going to go with. Uh, me and Hyper are not doing a good job of team working here, really, are we? There's a big amount of airtime in the background for a bunch of different people. Uh, go on, Hyper. I'll try and give you some slipstream. If I can get some slipstream off Brazen, or if you'll go past, there we go. That's the ticket. You've got a lot of speed there. I am not going to do that. No chance. Final lap, I would. This lap, not a hope in hell. Uh, <laughs> whatever lap number we're on, four or five or something like that, uh, I am not going to do anything stupid. Oh... No, GTA physics, why did you steer? I don't even know how my car started steering up the banking as viciously as it did, but there we go. Uh, that's GTA for you. I'm going to give Brazen as much space as I possibly can. I needed to. Uh, <laughs> I think I think Brazen may have got a nudge from behind. I'm not sure. Hyper, you can go. I'm not even going to fight that. It's pointless. It's, it's just not going to work. Likewise here, I'm not going to go alongside. I don't even know what the hell that thing was. Something fell out of Hyper's car or, or pinged through the scenery. And then Hyper's pointing the wrong way. Good recovery from Hyper, but uh, that didn't quite work. Can we duck underneath? No, we cannot. It's worth a look. Half chance. We have a good run towards the finish line. Oh, this is a two-wheel. That's one way to defend. It wouldn't work. It would stop me getting the run, but it didn't stop it. <laughs> what else? Got the two-wheel antics. Bloody hell, they've been impressive here. Uh, now, too wide into the chicane. I guess we're going to have to learn at some point what you can and can't do with a car. You one's exploded around here. That's quite impressive. There's some bumping between Gliska and Impega. There's three more cars behind us that may catch before the end of this lap. I don't want to be in there. I just, just, we've just got to make it to the end. Just be close by the start of the final lap. That's what matters. You crash now. You probably will not have time to recover. Uh, with not many laps to go. We're fighting the car again. Yeah, there's a lot of fighting for control in this vehicle. Has anyone got a good run? Please don't make it too wide through here. Impega is going to for the second part, I think. Oh, that's too many cars! <laughs> three wide was sketchy in the Paragon. Three wide in this is just asking for a huge crash, and I'm not sure how we made it work. Uh, but we have. We're up to second. I've got on the brakes, and the car just veered around. Brazen's on two wheels. We lead out of the final hairpin, but we will be slipstream past to the finish line, I have no doubt. This is going to fire the car across the jump. Right, Mustang gets a good run on the outside. We're five wide across the line. Liam Stinty to the lead. I want to stop banging doors with everybody because that's how you have a big crash. Uh, oh, a little bit of lag. That will kill Gliska. That's an unfortunate bit of timing for some lag if you're in the wrong place. We held on. Impega somehow avoided that. Dodge of the day goes to Impega. Uh, oh, I gave the lightest of brushes to the pink car and that ended up in a wall and my day is done. Ah, uh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. I was trying to get off the circuit. <laughs> Damn it. The tiniest, tiniest of taps and that is all it took. I thought I just didn't realise my car was going to be nudging the back of the car ahead. We'll, prete we'll, we'll pretend that last lap was the final lap. Okay, we were about fifth. I'll go with that. Uh, <laughs> This is such a ridiculous car. It's been a massive wreck up ahead uh, as well for a purple car. Uh, Crow... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> Don't mind me. Just small small issues went on there. I'm a sixth. How big a crash was there back there that I've ended up in sixth again? We could have had fifth had I not launched my car on two wheels at the back of Crow's car. Oh, well, this is overdriven that corner. Um, that's not really worked, has it now? It's not really worked. Oh, oh Hyper ended up back here as well. Things were apparently quite iffy. Chris did he fell over. It's... The Vamoose is strange and unusual and doesn't make a single bit of sense, but my god is it... <laughs> entertaining, I hope. 
Oh, what a mess. What another mess. Who got fastest lap, Liam? Did. In that. Um, a lot of things went on. Some of them good. Some of them... Not very good at all. So... <laughs> there we go. Festa, thank you very much for building this highly entertaining circuit. It's actually a good fun track to drive around with normal cars. The Vamos is not normal. Not normal at all. And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.